What is going on, fellas? Welcome back to the channel. We have a 22 Ford Bronco Badlands Edition. This is pretty slick. This is one of my followers' wife's vehicles that she's been waiting for for 10 months. We're going to talk about it because I think it's actually really cool after driving it. Plus, it has its own theft deterrent system. Find out what we're talking about, guys, and if you want to get a new Ford Bronco. All right, let's do it. What is up everybody? Thanks so much for coming back and checking us out. Remember to hit that like and subscribe. Today we're talking about the Ford Bronco. Now this vehicle comes live from us from the plant here in Michigan where they build the Broncos and this is owned by one of my followers wives who in fact has been waiting for it for about 10 months and actually works at the plant pretty cool she was able to get pictures of it going down the line in all of its different stages so it was really really cool to hear that story and uh to kind of be a be a part of it i was actually able to drive it prep it and uh did a little foreskin if you guys have ever been checking that out we talk about foreskin a lot here on the channel and uh, it is something uh that we can use on all of our ford vehicles to kind of personalize our ford experience more to our liking and uh, i'm a firm firm believer in it i like it it uh, works well with all ford products and uh another one for the bronco so if you guys are wondering what the color name of this it is called cyber orange and what a better place to look at it is in the sun look at that pearl hope you guys can see that can you yeah, I guess I can. Uh, it is really nice here in the sun. I think the stock wheels look nice, tires. I think uh, I think this is a cute little vehicle. I wouldn't mind having one myself. I think the four-door would be even sweeter, but some people don't like the four-door and like the little baby two-door. I think maybe we should get inside and check this thing out. I really dig the whole window frame missing that's really cool but here is the interior look at that the sun just showing us that interior really blown away uh with the manual transmission that was really cool uh like i said this was my first bronco that i have driven if you guys uh, saw the short i made a few weeks ago uh showing it in the shop uh we did uh the prep and and whatnot but overall i mean i think this is a a really nice really nice vehicle the seats are very comfortable comparing to super duties i don't know i think these seats might uh might have them beat oh look at that bronco logo i like the handle over here the passenger glove box no gloves i like the orange accents on everything kind of reminds me of the uh tremor uh, almost uh, for the trim the trim on Lowe's um, trimmer orange but uh, here we are this is got the three pedals I don't know what that third pedal means a lot of people think this is cool you're able to rinse out the floors here's a heat shield but the water will run over the heat shield and down to the ground pretty cool back seat Back seat folded, seat moved. Uh, I don't know if you're fitting a full-size adult, but I think there'd be room in here for that. Kind of like little, little jump seats. Again, here's the drain for the back. Huh. Another body, another body piece. Go down to the ground in there. Let's put that cover back on. Heck yeah. I really dig the seats. I think uh, I think Ford did a nice job with the Bronco. If you guys have a Bronco, what trim level do you have? Is it uh, Badlands? Do you guys have the Sasquatch? Not really used to opening such a wide 
panel on the back, especially with the weight of this tire. Still cool though. Definitely takes some time to get used to. Here's the inside. The lid just pulls right up. There's no latches or anything to uh, release the lid. First time around the Bronco. Uh, I've been told that there are uh, accessory spots already for you guys to install ports here. Where does it say? Accessory ready. Accessory ready. There are electrical connectors behind here uh, for when you're installing uh, lights or what have you on top of the vehicle that's going to require electrical power. There are power and ground uh, at the top of the roof line. And also, which I love about the Super Duty, is the infamous upfitter switches. Upfitter switches are right here in the roof overhead trip console or when we had the trip console those wires are actually located right here they're not that hard to get to right over here Ford leaves you all some wires that are bare not bare but just by themselves uh, these are going to correspond to the appropriate upfitter switch and it's going to allow you to hook up whatever accessories that you are going to want to install that has electrical needs. Now this is the 2.3 turbo gasoline direct injected. This is a little small package but she scoots. Once she hits about 3000 RPM she really comes alive and likes the uh, torque band that it's in um, getting up to that speed tires aren't noisy i'm a real big uh non-tire noise person i don't like to hear that i don't i don't want any of that i do not experience any of that with the ford bronco especially with these bfgs what size are we running because i know you guys are going to want to know everybody asks in the comments what do we got 285 70r 17s we have the KO2 BFG Altering TAs. I don't know if those would look good on the duty or what. Are you guys a white lettered out or white lettered in? Do you guys like having the white letters at all? I know that's a big question too, whether or not people, uh, which, way they, which way they flip the tires. But here's the dark side. Nobody wants to see the dark side. It is still looking good. I'd like to see with some tint. If you guys are tinting the windows on the Broncos, what percent are you guys going? Um, if you guys are changing out the bumpers, are you putting different bumpers on? What, which kinds are you deciding? I know uh, we're always on the channel talking about Super Duties. I love my Ford vehicles. I love my Super Duties, but I think this Bronco is really cool. I was kind of excited to drive it. The interior was really nice. The experience driving it with the manual transmission was really nice as well. Uh, I congratulate the customer for being patient and uh, getting uh, one of Ford's iconic vehicles, the Ford Bronco. I'm interested to see what the customer is going to do to it. I know we might be putting some lights on here at a later date. Uh, we might be doing a video showing you guys how to install some of the accessories uh, either Ford or the customer has for this vehicle. Uh, I think it's going to be uh, quite fun and uh, I'm kind of jelly. I like that blue. I know CP's Garage wants that Sasquatch package, but hey, I think this one's cool as well if you're rolling a super duty if you're rolling a bronco i want to know are you rolling this and your wife's driving your duty or is it the other way around and she's driving uh, the bronco i want to know what is your ultimate bronco that you'd want what package what trim what wheels are you going to do anything to it are you going to leave a stock let us know in the comments and uh, we'll talk about it we like keeping you guys engaged thanks so much for watching remember to like comment sub share and i'll catch you guys all next time maybe driving a Bronco. We'll see you guys.